Hey everyone, welcome back to your Astro, <laughs> your Astro Week. Who's hot this week? Horoscopes for the week of December 12th to December 18th, 2016. Oh, <laughs> Stargazer. Who's hot this week? Horoscopes that are right for the Echo newspapers and good old Supernatural Kamloops BC for the week of December 12th to December 18th, 2016. All presented by the Sunnyside.net. For those who don't know, Sunnyside.net is my original website where I dump all the videos on, I show my gigs, everything that goes there. And hi everyone, I'm Sunny. Alright, first things first, today is my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Puck. I hope you're having the absolute best of a beautiful week. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And uh, that's it. I hope the kids are cool and send in love all the way from the West Coast. <laughs> and... It's all cool. I wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> Everything. All right. Notes. Notes. <laughs> all right. Notes. <laughs> okay. First, I guess if you want to skip this, <laughs> click on the link. Notes. Uh, I have a live stream coming up. It's probably gonna be. It's gonna be in two weeks. I'll tell you next week when I set the time and date, and then I'll put it up on the website. But there's a on the live stream. I'm gonna answer a bunch of your astrology questions. Look at me look so grouchy today. <laughs> I'm gonna answer a bunch of your questions. So feel free to put them in the comment section below and uh, I'll do it again, you know, and leave them next week. And um, tune in and we'll have a little bit of fun <laughs> over the holidays. All right, enough, whatever. <laughs> okay, enough. Here's the, um, here's the overview for the week. Oh man, I gotta double check. It's always in my pocket, right? <laughs> this week, the moon is probably going. Oh! The beginning of the week is a full moon, but it's kind of during the beginning of the week. Anyways, for the rest of the week, the moon is gonna be in nurturing, kleptomaniacal. <laughs> Watch the most um, dangerous video. The. Um, what else? Nurturing. You know, <laughs> family oriented. They're huggers. They're the most emotional. Oh man, I didn't. Cl uh, we're gonna have an emotional week, so I hope everything is cool. It's gonna be a little clingy, a little cuddly, and um, that's not it. <laughs> Venus and Mars are still in Aquarius, and and it looks like. Mars is going to be there, look, they're going to be there for another week at least. Venus is definitely cruising in for a stay, and Mars is definitely going to hang out for another week. And um, anyways, this seems a bit interesting. So we're going to have a full moon at the beginning of the week, and then it's going to spend the rest of the time in Cancer. So be careful, because depending on where it falls in your chart, or how <laughs> this full moon affects you, the, um, right after the full moon for the rest of the week, we're all gonna be moody. So I don't know if we're gonna enjoy what becomes revealed during the full moon, or if you're not, <laughs> and something you don't like is gonna be revealed. It all depends on where it falls in your chart, of course. But uh, we're gonna be a bit of, we might feel a little wounded. Cancer is not the sign of feeling wounded. There's, a, there's another thing to look at at that. But it's like, we'll all be nurturing, you know? We'll be trying to, uh, get together. It's like baking cookies. It's like buying presents for others. It's like it's like trying to take care of the home. It's like sprucing the place up. And that is uh, not the weirdest thing in the world when you think about it, when we're moving into the season of office parties. But that's what's going to happen. All right. Next. Moving along. Do, 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 do. Lists. Oh, all right. Let's see this. It doesn't look like a major astrological. It doesn't look like a major astrological week, but it does look like stuff's going to be uncovered at the beginning of the week, and then we're just going to have to spend the rest of the week dealing with it. All right. So on the last video, well, not the last video, but um, on the "Who's the Most Jealous" video, I have it right here, and Vanessa Ye writes in on her list of who are the most jealous signs of the zodiac. She has. Six, Gemini. Yeah, Gemini gets jealous. <laughs> they like shiny things. Five, Taurus. Taurus gets jealous. Four, Virgo. Three, Cancer. Two, Scorpio. And numero uno was and is Leo. So according to Vanessa, 
That's her top six. I have another good top six here. Literally is here, writes in. For her top six most jealous signs, she has number six as Cancer. Number four is Scorpio. Scorpio is definitely jealous. Number, I mean, number five, Scorpio. Number four, Aries. You know, more and more, you know, Aries is coming up as a jealous type. I got to say, and for all the comments I get, it sounds like Aries gets cuckoo bananas quite quickly. Number three is Aquarius. A lot of times we don't realize that, but yeah, Aquarius wants what they want, and they're willing to go get it. Number two, Libra. That's hilarious. <laughs> and number one on the jealous list is Taurus. Oh, goodness. Thanks, guys. I super appreciate all the comments, even the off-colored comments, even the, you know, the whatever, the whatever. I like, re I love reading all of them. It's really cute. And I love your list. It's really, I like to see everyone else's perspective. It gives me kind of a, you know, different way to look at things sometimes. And I completely appreciate it. All right, enough with the blah blah. Let's get down to some horoscopes here. All right, here we go. Here are the Stargazer horoscopes that I write for the Echo Newspapers, Kamloops, BC, for the week of, you know, I should really write that down on this thing, December 12th to December 18th, 2016. Here we go. For the Moody Week, I guess it's going to be Moody. Dear Aries, Friends continue to lead the way with fun and opportunities you hadn't thought of. All right? Don't stray too far from the fort, however, as changes reveal themselves at home. Team up for your best chance at success. Yeah, Aries. What's going on with this thing? Libra. Aries. Who this? Aries, if you haven't teamed up yet, you should really start, you know, putting your radar out. Putting your radar out, honey. Put the feelers out, and most importantly, right now, your friends are highlighted. Your friends, your social network, you know, maybe online dating if that's what you're into. But definitely, love is arriving through your friends right now. But having said all of that, one, two, the drama is going to happen with your communication. Be careful with the things that you say. You might make an off the cuff comment this week, which uh, reveals a lot more of yourself than you'd. Uh, that you <laughs> intended to reveal. <laughs> so watch your words, Aries, and um, you know, don't be afraid to spend some time at home. Maybe invite the friends over. That would be a lot of fun. All right, dear Taurus. Taurus, light is shining on the money you share with others, right? But this week, you'll begin to wonder what's really in it for you. Love continues to push for a vacation with hopes of an exotic rendezvous on foreign shores. Woo, Taurus, taking a little vacation. All right, what's going on here? Yeah, so an inheritance might be in play. You might get money from other people. It's the people you work with. It's the people you make money for. That's what's highlighted right now. It's not really your career, but it's on the way to your career, kind of, so to speak. So, but that's what's highlighted. You know, that's where the light is. That's what's going on. There's also requires a lot of discipline there, you know, so you might feel like you're being controlled at work or this money that you're looking at might feel like it's being controlled by other forces, but like that's just the way it is and it's not going to change for a while. So <laughs> get used to it. Okay, what else is going on? Yeah, Taurus, love is arriving from foreign shores. It's highly possible that you're going to be taking a little vacation. So... What can I say? Get to the gym. Look good before you take that trip. Dear Gemini, people have been talking about you, and this week you'll find out why. Ooh. You should be directing your efforts into your relationships, but money is calling with an opportunity you re didn't realize was yours for the taking. Gemini, something's going to be revealed about you this week, so you better be on your best. People have been watching you, whether you realize it or not, and that's the action. You're going to feel a little reclusive on the weekend, the weekend before, you know, <laughs> like you're going to feel a little reclusive and then you're going to feel charged and then some, everybody's going to suddenly know about you for some reason and then it's going to chug along and you're going to spend the rest of the week worrying about your finances. So, pay attention. What else is going on with Gemini? The light shining on your relationships, holy smoke, the light is totally shining on your relationships, but the control is there as well, so like, I'm guessing that people are coming up to you, I'm guessing you have opportunities, but you just can't make it click. 
Gemini, how, like, of all people, how come you can't make it click? Like, I was going to say, like, why can't you be versatile, you know? Why can't you be, like, but you are. Huh. Try not to overthink things, you know? Maybe go for it a little more. Maybe push a little. Don't push a little. Just... Gemini, go have some fun and see what happens from there. All right. Yeah, seriously, Gemini, when did you stop being fun? Seriously. All right, next. Dear Cancer, don't be surprised if a face from the past suddenly shows up with news you didn't expect. Okay. <laughs> you thought you could close your eyes on this one and just walk away, but fate has other ideas. Woo, Cancer! Yeah, you're going to be a little reclusive at the beginning of the week. A light's going to be shine on something you did in your past. <laughs> it's, you know, it is and it isn't going to be favorable. Right now, everything's all about your daily work and getting down to business. So Cancer, you know, somewhere along the line, next week at the beginning of the week, something's going to be revealed where you cut corners and it's going to come back to haunt you. But on the plus side, you know, whatever, you know, what's done is done and it's in the past. And so just make do and move forward, you know, with, with love, dignity, and grace, which is, you know, the action for all of us. All right, what else is going on? Let's see, Cancer. Dude, dude, money is very strong in a team environment, Cancer. So team up, you know, forget about, go chill with the karma, you know, just because something bad. I know, Cancer, you can like moody, right? But like, so what? Just be cool. You know, most things in life can be forgiven. And, if, you know, time does heal almost all wounds. So, if there's something that you want, Cancer, go for it. Don't be afraid to say whatever you got to say. Next, dear Leo. Leo, dress your best and get ready to take a chance on love. Oh, Leo. <laughs> a friendly relationship takes a turn for the serious. <laughs> As hearts collide on a creative project, love says yes. Leo, I don't know what to say. You know, light shining on Gemini, but Gemini's like, can't really do anything about it because Saturn's there and there's a bit of control and standing off and it's really kind of sucks to be Gemini in love right now. But at the same time, it's like totally awesome to be Leo in love right now. You're aggressive in, you're still aggressive in love and it's causing bumps along the way. But that's like one of the ways it works. So like, why not? Stay a little aggressive, you know, be a little off color, be a little compassionate, be a little understanding and make this energy work for you, Leo. This is your time to shine in love. And uh, that's all I really need to say about it. It's, it's, so, it's so overwhelming, it's not even funny. And use your words, you have a silver tongue right now. So, do it. Next, dear Virgo, news arrives in your professional world with an answer you've been waiting for. Virgo, that's... Oh, Virgo, okay. <laughs> Stick to your fitness goals and watch the holiday sweets. Ooh, Virgo! Home is still where the heart is. All right, Virgo. <clears throat> you're going to be some... Dress your best, Virgo. When you go out this week, you're going to be noticed. And I don't know if it's going to be good or it's going to be bad, but you're going to receive a message on something you've been waiting for. So you better look good. Uh, so you better answer that phone with a smile when you bump into that stranger who has uh, some message for you you better be looking good and money is also super strong so I wouldn't even sweat that oh and like you know you suddenly have time to do the things you wanted to do so make sure you do them next dear Libra Libra still our most beautiful sign Keep your ears open as news from far away could spur a second effort on a forgotten goal. Yeah, really. If you make an effort on someone who's been waiting for you, then love will suddenly, then love will take a sudden turn right into your arms. Libra, like you're larger than love, <laughs> love. You're larger than life right now. And all of the cuckoo banana stuff, all of the, um, uncertainties and sudden infatuations and then sudden not liking someone <laughs> it's kind of passing for most Libras you know most Libras have already gone through the whole deal already there's a little bit more for those born 
late in the, uh, the Libra cycle or are those okay so those born late in the Libra cycle it's still about you know still going a little crazy in relationships but for most of you it's past so that's the action on that the, uh, the goals right now are yeah Libra sudden and unexpected is what it looks like it's gonna happen your high visibility as well you know your news is coming from afar from distant shores from people who are different from yourselves maybe something about a class or a workshop you want to take or some kind of higher learning thing maybe you get early acceptance into university or something or you get into a class that you wanted to take but keep your eyes open because that's you know that's gonna happen and along the way Give love a second chance, because it um, looks like it's going to work this time. Dear Scorpio, joint finances approach with the final bill. Oh, man. Good luck, Scorpio. As pockets begin to empty, discipline will be required to make it through. You got that, playa? Tighten up that belt. Don't cut corners, okay? <laughs> We're going, it's all karma time. But don't overspend either. Just have discipline, Scorpio. I know you guys are looking for love. I know for Scorpio, love is so important so that you can make it through everything. But that's not what's happening right now. You know, you know, there's that's just not what's happening right now. This is a money time, Scorpio, and money is tight, getting tighter and getting tighter. So just be cool, stick to the budget, and you're gonna make it through. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny. That's the greatest news I've heard all week. <laughs> Dear Sagittarius, it's been all about you lately as the light shines on all things Sagittarius. But what about love, Sag? Share your smile and watch the world reflect love right back into your warming heart. Oh, yeah, Sagittarius. So... Later on, for most of the week, right, the second half of the week or two-thirds of the week, you're going to be focused on the money you make with others. You're going to be working your butt off to try and make some money happen or to do whatever you do in the team environment. But before you get to that stage, a light is going to shine squarely on your closest relationship. So, you know, it's not exactly karma time, but like, Saj, I'm going to say the same thing to you that I said a little earlier to one of the other signs. When did you stop? When did you stop being fun? You know, I'm not saying go be explosive, crazy, and skydive in the middle of the winter, kind of fun. Like I don't. Some of you think that's what I mean. That's not what I mean. <laughs> what I mean is, when did you stop being fun, Saj? You know, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go have some fun. You know, tell some jokes again. Man, I miss when you guys tell jokes. I really do. Dear Capricorn. When did you start being fun? Like Capricorn. <laughs> the Capricorn isn't going to be fun for nobody. <laughs> okay, dear Capricorn, how can you make best use of your time? <laughs> I'm not even looking for fun for Sagittarius. <laughs> okay, money and the pursuit of personal goals have distracted you from the everyday tasks that have to be done. Yeah, Cap, you're a... Yeah, yeah something is going to be revealed in your daily life, so you better be ready for it something about your chores about your business about your work this is stuff that means a lot to you so keep your eyes open this week for both good news and news that you wish could be a little better all right capricorn money in the pursuit of personal goals have distracted you from the everyday tasks that what the hell that have to be done finish the paperwork and head to the gym oh yeah make sure you go to the gym capricorn there's a lot of good happening you're still making a lot of money and your efforts are bringing in the rewards that you'd hope they would, but something is messed up in your daily, day-to-day -day life and your habits, and um, you're gonna spend the rest of the week thinking about love. Dear Aquarius, blinders are removed on a financial situation which had become cloudy. That's a good thing, okay? <laughs> you're not entirely out of the woods yet, but you finally see an honest way through, which is very Aquarius. Oh, it's so, it's, I mean, for Aquarius, it's so refreshing, isn't it? You, you can see all these different ways, you know, that nobody else sees, but you had the blinders on for a while. And not, not, it's not your fault, right? It's just the energy. And 
but now that that energy is, has changed and shifted, it's, um, you can see clearly now. And the ways that you spout out off <laughs> all the time, these ones are, are really going to work. You know? Anyways, a creative project returns to life. So Aquarius, don't be afraid to, like, to revisit some of the things. You know, revisit some relationships, revisit some creative ideas, revisit whatever you need to revisit. And, you know, maybe what worked last time, what didn't work last time, might work this time. Maybe the new approach that suddenly is revealed to you will be the, the way forward uh, towards your goal that you've been looking for all along. And that is all a good thing. Next. There's Pisces. Fighting gives way to love as a secret admirer steps in to distract combatants. The office is calling, but your soul needs some me time to heal from 2016 and to prepare for your charge for 2017. Yeah, Pisces is a lot going on behind the scenes right now. It's actually like it's all, all the energy is like attraction and the energy you put forward is happening behind the scenes. And so like that's the where it is you know you're not going to see it unless until it steps up to bite you or it somehow reveals itself in a way that you may or may not like but that's what's going on so as that's going on you know you're you're there's a powerful transformation that's happening in your social network and it's a little painful but it's you know it's gonna lead to a better day so deal with you're gonna be letting go of a lot you know a lot of people it's okay you're also gonna be introduced to a lot of people and that's cool too the light is shining on your career and and your outward uh, public persona so it might feel right now like everywhere you turn you might be seeing pictures of yourself everywhere so to speak like if you're in the entertainment industry good example like this is like walking down the street and seeing a poster of yourself or hearing about yourself on the radio I gotta say it's a little weird but it happens but it's kind of cool too so Pisces that's what's up for you and just remember you know there's a little fighting going on behind the scenes it's still happening it's okay it's gonna pass you're gonna be charged and ready to take on the world again and there's uh, there are people helping you that you may or may not realize are there and that brings us to do 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 this week's lucky and love signs are Cancer and Capricorn, with Aquarius and Leo heating up fast. As for everyone else, be a super amazing, fantastic wing and pick up the check. From the sunnyside.net, I'm Sunny. Whoa, look at all the light. Wishing everyone the absolute best of a beautiful week. And I'll see you soon. Oh, make sure you leave some questions in the box below. <laughs> Talk to you soon.